Hey guys, today's video is I have one dollar. I actually um, have one dollar to my name, guys, and I'm still keeping a positive attitude, still happy. Literally one dollar to my name. Um, yes, I have assets, like I own a house, so that's cool. But um, I recently got fired from my job because uh, this guy at work was pissing me off, and I basically they said I threatened him on Facebook. And so they actually fired me from face from uh, my job. So I'm actually between jobs right now. And uh, also, I've sold only one shirt on Amazon this month. I have 500 shirts listed. Uh, stopped ads. I was running ads, but the ads weren't super profitable. So I've stopped ads at the moment. Um, I really blame. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I blame this governmental party. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Um, I really don't, guys. Like, why have they driven our economy into the ground? You know, why are they allowing businesses like this to fire people like me for stupid shit? Like, I was literally off duty when this happened, guys. I was off duty. I wasn't even working. I was actually uh, taking some medication at the time. Um, I was off duty. It was obviously legal medication. But um, they said I threatened my coworker, so they uh, they fired me for that. I was literally off duty, um, just home chilling, hanging out. Um, I had actually called my boss. I was having some. I have some intestinal issues, and I have had them. I have like uh, allergies that cause my intestines to swell because I have allergies to certain foods, so it causes a lot of like abdominal discomfort, and I have a lot of cysts in my intestines that cause issues. So that morning I called out sick to my boss. I worked at a restaurant um, and basically I told my boss I needed to take the day off while he was insisting that I give him a reason for the sick call. And I got kind of pissed and said, I don't need to give you a fucking reason. And I hung up on my boss. My boss most likely was a narcissist because he couldn't just suck it up and realize I was having a bad day. He had to make a fucking issue about it. Um, so, so basically guys, um, I was having issues with a coworker and I basically told this person to leave me alone or me and him were going to have issues. And so my workplace, um, literally fired for me that fired me for that guys. I was off duty when it happened. I wasn't even at work. I was literally laying in this bed right now where I do a lot of my videos, just chilling in bed. Um, literally just laying in bed. And, you know, I said one comment on Facebook, you know, I, I actually had sent this person an apology. I apologize to this person. Um, but the reason why I'm telling you guys, I only have $1 in my pocket is because there's a lot of my viewers are low on money. A lot of, a lot of other Americans are low on money. Do I blame myself for it? Actually, I don't blame myself for it because literally, uh, the Democrats, you know, Biden, whoever the fuck's running this country, has literally run this fucking country into the ground. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I don't know why they're doing it. I don't know why they're trying to make Americans poor. I don't fucking get it. Like, for example, the average guy right now, the average American man is so broke that he can't even buy a rifle. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that is actually by design because they don't, the, the government, the Democratic government, the Biden government, they don't want any of us law-abiding citizens to have rifles. Um, I don't know why they see people like see people like me and and you as threats. You know, just regular patriotic Americans that love America. Um, I don't know why they like to paint us out as a threat when we're when we're far from a threat. We're no threat. Um, it's just ridiculous, guys. And 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 keeping Americans poor is by design. They do that by design because they don't want your average Tom, Dick, and Harry to afford a rifle. They want to keep us disarmed. They don't want your average Tom, Dick, and Harry to afford a, a you know a pistol, things like that. They're completely trying to disarm us. I don't understand what that's about. Um, they want to have a gun-free society, which means you could be walking down the street and get fucking beat up by five guys because you don't have a gun on you. Um, I think it's fucking stupid what they're doing. Um, I think it's stupid what they've done to me. Um, I was born in 1982, guys, and America has severely fucking changed. I mean, severely fucking changed. I don't understand what the fuck is going on with this country. I mean, when I was a young kid, you know, America was, was doing pretty well. You know, gas prices were cheap. Rent was cheap. Um, 
even in 2006, guys, I bought this house for like $52,000. Good luck buying a house like this for $52,000 in today's economy. It's just not going to happen. Um, rent, the cost of rent right now is absolutely fucking ridiculous. Um, I don't know what the fuck's going on with rent, with the rental situation. Um, literally, uh, like in my state, guys, it's like fourteen to $1,500 a month for a two-bedroom apartment. But then you get a job at these local, you know, local businesses like restaurants, things like that. They only want to give you 25 hours a week. Like I was working at Applebee's, which I'll go ahead and tell you I was working at Applebee's because I don't fucking care. It's a restaurant in America. And they treat their employees like fucking garbage. They literally treated me like garbage the entire time while I was there. I don't recommend working there. It's a really horrible, greedy company. Um, they're having the staff do the work of five to ten people. Um, so I definitely don't don't recommend any of you guys work at Applebee's. It's a very brutal restaurant to work at. Uh, they treat the customers like shit. The food's all microwaved. It's definitely a bad restaurant to work at. But Applebee's was the ones, one guys that fired me for, for the comment I made to my coworker off duty. I was literally off duty. And uh, the guy said HR wanted to, wanted, to, wanted to terminate me for what I said to this kid, even though I had apologized to him and a bunch of my coworkers for getting upset. Um, in the moment, my boss told me, I told my boss, I said, if you're going to terminate me, I need to go on unemployment because I have a house. I have a car, you know, and uh, – Basically, I, I filed for unemployment. I was getting I was getting all my job searches done every week. Like I had to look for jobs every week. I literally looked for like five to ten jobs, um, put applications in and everything, guys. And then, you know, I got the they did this fact. It's called a fact finding interview. They did a fact finding interview with my workplace. And, you know, my workplace said I was late a couple times, which who cares about being a couple minutes late as long as you show up. Um you know, I think it might have been because they were paying me a half decent wage, like I was making $16 an hour, which isn't really good money in America. But for my area, it's not bad. I was making $16 an hour, but they never gave me full time hours. They never gave me 40 hours a week. They'd literally give me six hour shifts. You know, I'd be working 25 to 30 hours a week on average. Um, so I never had any extra money to save. It was always just enough money to pay my bills, you know, my car payment, my house payment, you know, my credit card bill because I had a PayPal credit card. Um, so I never had any money to save. Um, I was so poor. I mean, one time this year I had a girl over. I was so poor. I couldn't even afford to buy my friend a donut. That's how poor I was. And it is the fucking Biden administration's fault. 100 fucking percent. It is the Democrats' fault that is running this country right now. I don't even believe that Biden's running this country. I don't believe the Democrats are running this country. I think some sort of like evil Illuminati is running this country, guys. Some sort of, they must be like a satanic organization or something like that. Um, I wouldn't be surprised that the people running this country are sacrificing human beings, drinking babies' blood. That's how evil these people appear to be. Because I watched a video today, another woman like my age talking about how she had, she's never had this little money in her entire life. And I can totally relate to that, guys. Like being fired for no reason. I was off duty under the influence of my medication I take, you know, so I may have made a bad decision on my meds, you know, verbally at least. Um, so I just don't understand why they're allowing these businesses to fire people like me for stupid shit that I, you know, like I said, it was just an argument on Facebook with a coworker and I apologize to him. Um, so be real careful with Facebook. My recommendation to you guys is to keep stuff off Facebook um, because Facebook cost me my job guys. And it also led to a home invasion in 2016. I got a hold of a friend and he kicked someone's door in that night, had talked to him on Facebook previously so Facebook guys can cause a lot of fucking issues, you guys, a lot of fucking issues. So, um, but the point of today's video guys is to keep hope alive. Like I am right now. I haven't given up. I haven't thrown in the towel. You know, I haven't, I haven't killed myself. I haven't gone off the deep end. I literally have $1 to my name guys. And a lot of this is, you know, things like Amazon suppression. Like I have 500 shirts on Amazon, but they give me very little fucking traffic, even though my designs are really good. Um, I'll actually leave a link to one of my shirts in the description of this video and in the comments of this video. 
Um, I make about $4 a shirt, but Amazon, it, like I said, they're not really giving me traffic unless I pay for ads. That's how fucking corrupt this country has got. That's how corrupt Amazon has got. And I don't care if they know I said that. Um, they have become corrupt. You know, they're not even going to give you a fucking t-shirt sale unless you're paying for ads. That's fucking stupid. You used to be able to make or called organic sales. Just naturally, you, you were supposed to be able to make sales. But now Amazon's just only giving people sales if they're paying for ads. It's just ridiculous what we go through in this country, guys. And then they're allowing businesses like Applebee's to fire people for no reason, which means now I only have $1 in my pocket. And it's, it's just led to a lot of issues, you know, and I'm on a job search. Obviously, I don't want to just sit around all day. I'm going to get a job. But the point of today's video, guys, is to stay positive despite your financial situation, because if you don't stay positive, you're fucked, right? Like if I get in a negative state, if I got in a negative state and started drinking or doing drugs, it's just going to make my situation 10 times fucking worse. The best thing I can do is stay sober and, you know, start applying for jobs. I've already had one job or an interview. I've already, I'm already waiting on, an, on another job to call me. Um you just got to keep hope alive, guys. That's what I say. Keep hope alive. But um, today I'm humbling myself to tell you guys I only have $1 in my account. Uh, maybe you guys could shop my Amazon shirts to help me get some money. Um, I make about $4 a shirt. So you could go on, on my Amazon link in the description and buy a shirt. That would help me out. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in this video. Um, Try to be try to be polite in comments because a lot of haters like to make negative comments. I'm just going to delete your comments. If you're making negative comments, I'm just going to delete your comments. So you're really wasting your time. Um, this is a positive channel, so it will remain positive. So, you know, inappropriate comments, rude comments will just be deleted, will just be deleted. Um, this is a positive channel, guys. And guess what? You know, you want to be cocky and make fun of me that I only have a dollar in my pocket right now. But guess what? The tables can turn on you quick. You could lose your job. You could lose your, your financial means. And you could end up being like me with only a dollar in your pocket, guys. Um, so, you know, try to stay positive. Like I said, guys, thanks for tuning in today's video. Thanks for being a subscriber. If you guys have any videos you'd like me to do, Please, please, please let me know. Thank you so much, guys. Till next time, Steve signing out. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.